Hi students, today we're hunting for worms and our learning where Okay, so uh, before we start, I would like us to, to I, would, I would like us to remember some that we learned. Let's remind the environment. An environment is everything. <coughs> so it is our surrounding and it includes the physical scape within our surrounding. So like for example, saying everything around us all of the conditions landscape surrounding thing that surrounds us within that is an environment okay and now a habitat is a particular place a plant is within an environment place for example an ocean is a particular place for the fish so that is its habitat a polar region is a habitat for the polars so that is its particular place okay now so this over here what animal do you think this is okay look at the image what animal do you think this is look at its skin okay and then tell me what you think this is okay now as you all know this is an earthworm okay and it uh, this is its natural habitat earthworms are found in wet places okay and they live under the soil so like you can see this is a wet place and it's muddy and that is the place you can find an earthworm so now before i continue i would like us to understand the word um charming worms so charming worms is a process by which a vibration is used to remove the worms from the ground as they come upwards okay so you can do this by tapping the you tap the ground using a fork garden or you can tap the ground using a stick or a ruler or you can use a music okay do you put a loud music within that place that you want the worms to come out so that is the worm hunting some people can also jump in one spot for a long time okay so as we continue let's look at this video to learn more about the worms So, so as you can see, the worm is being encouraged to come out of the surface of the soil. So that is known as worm charming. And just like I said, um, worm charming can be done in different ways. So as you can see, it can be done through tapping the soil. It can be done through jumping okay it can be done through so many ways so as you can see um there are people over here who have gone for worm hunting so you are they are hunting they tap the ground so you you can see they're tapping this ground and they're going to tap it for a, a long time and as they do that the worms can eventually come out okay so you can see even these ones are using a stick to tap the ground so that the worms can come out uh-huh then others can also use uh, a fork garden to tap it on the ground mm -hmm. so as you can see um warm charming can be done mm -hmm. Can see this person is jumping up and down on the same spot it's on the same spot okay mm -hmm. so there are different ways that can be used to create vibration on the soil and these are the ways of doing a warm charming so as we have learned a warm charming can be done by a form of vibration you say they were vibrating the soil and they were tapping the soil with different means jumping or using a ball or even using music so that they can come out hunting for worms okay so this is a woman is a small habitat you make this 
you have to use different layers of some places to be wet so so that they warm habitat so as they are saying this is a warmery to be perfect habitat for the worms so now you have some questions for you to answer find out as earthworms okay notes so you're going to find out as much as you can about earthworms research you can even go research about the earthworms okay and then you are going to draw draw an earthworm okay with several segments and write a different fact about it on each segment one thing you have to know is that worms breathe with their skin okay they breathe with their skin a perfect uh, example look at this worm here you can look at the skin okay it has different lines those are segments okay so they use this to breathe with their skin okay they do not have nose so that's why you find them mostly in a wet region that place is wet and so enough oxygen to breathe in okay and then when you go to uh, dry places you cannot find warm remember earthworms are only found in wet places okay so that is one fact i've given you about the earthworm you're also able to find out more so you're being told draw an earthworm with several segments and write a different fact about it on each segment okay then why do gardeners like earthworms why do gardeners like earthworms that is also another question for you to try and answer okay so worms live underground just like i told you a perfect habitat for the worms are in a wet places under the ground so most worms they live underground most of the time but we can encourage them to come out come to the surface by making noise and vibration so we call this warm charming i think i had explained about warm charming and now i think now you know what a warm charming is